I was just here kind of making a schedule for myself because I realized that if I don't sit down and write out what I need to do or like the schedule and the expectations that I'm going to have for myself and, and set for myself. If I don't write them down, I'm not going to stick to it. And so by doing this, I also decided that my uploading schedule is going to be officially, officially Wednesdays and Sundays at five o'clock in the afternoon and the reason why I just finally decided now to, to put a like a permanent schedule again is because I realized I that's not that's not fair to you guys that have subscribed to me when you don't know when I'm gonna upload you know and so I'm so sorry for that I just I felt like the excuse of my weeks not being the same was you know kind of legit <laughs> legitimate you know but it, it's not an excuse it really isn't and so I mean Wednesdays and Sundays usually they're around the same um every week for me so I know I'm gonna be able to stick to that and Wednesdays and Sundays I feel like are good I mean let me know if it's good for you guys it's one day out of the week one weekend day so at five o'clock in the afternoon and also, if you're subscribed to my channel, you should definitely be following me on Instagram as well because I do a coffee chat there every Wednesday as well. So there's going to be a coffee chat on Wednesdays, a new video on my YouTube channel on Wednesdays, and then Sundays is going to be another video. And I'm also working on posting every day there, and I'm also going to be putting content, like video content on my Instagram now. So I'm just working on being a lot more consistent because I am constantly making content but not like on a not like on a set day set time of the week and that's what I want to do so and I did it in the beginning but things happen but there's no excuse I'm getting back to it now so expect a new video from me every Wednesday every Sunday and a coffee chat on my Instagram every Wednesday around 12 o'clock okay and the videos at five o'clock so now for the video I want to talk about stressing out about life. So stress is inevitable. You know, we all stress. But the reason why we stress is because we feel like it's all coming down on us. We feel like everything's a mess and we can't see a way out. And that's why we stress. So even if it's just one thing that triggers the stress at first. So if it's like you had a bad day at work or something went wrong that triggers the stress automatically but then it's like a freaking cycle like after that you see something else bad you see something else negative in a negative way and it's like then you feel like everything is going wrong um when it's really not but once that stress is triggered it's really hard to get out of that like bubble of negativity and just stress overall so there's also a lot of things that you can do to relieve stress you know, it's all over the internet, ways to relieve stress and all that. But I think that the most permanent solution is the one that I'm about to tell you. So we all have different areas in life. We have our financial area, relationship area, love life, uh, career, family, personal, spiritual, mental, physical. There's different areas in life if you view it like that, which is which you should. So there's like different categories, I guess you can call it, to your life. And the reason why we stress is because we put them all together and that's a mistake. We need to separate all areas in our lives and then balance it all. How do we do that? How do you balance? Because you know, you probably hear this all the time too. Balance out, balance your life. And it's really hard, it's freaking hard. But it, the best way to do it is by just seeing everything as a separate area. Don't ever blend any two together. Now, it doesn't mean that one doesn't affect the other because they all have to be working properly in order for you to live the best that you can, right? So they do kind of affect each other and they have to do with each other in some way, but the way that you act is should not be the same in each area. The things that you do in each area to improve each area are not gonna be the same and so this is why you have to separate them so that you know how to tackle each problem in your life according to what area it is in and so it allows you to really know what actions to take how you should be in that area what you need to improve in that area and so forth and so and so on so so the best way to separate balance out and then tackle each problem and improve every area in your life is just to kind of sit back and visualize how that looks like when all your areas of your life are separated 
and then you set goals for each area. So what you do is you look at your love life and you see, okay, what's going on? Um, how can I improve my relationship? I should be spending more time with my partner. Let me figure out what we can do this week to do things to do things together. Um, what should be fixed? What should be improved? How can I be a better person for that person in my relationship? Whatever. If you're single, hmm, I should be mingling more or whatever it is. You know, look at that. Look at you as your as a different person. Um, and just in that moment, just picture you in that relationship, not as whatever you are in your work life, not what's going on in your finances, not what's going on in your family. Just right now, focus on that area and see yourself as a wife, as a girlfriend, as a boyfriend, as a, as a, as a husband, as a single person, whatever you are in that area, view yourself as that and see what you need to do in order to improve and be that better person in that area. And then look at your finances. Hmm, I should be saving more. Let me see what I can do to make a little bit more money. Oh, this is going wrong. I need to fix that or that's going right. I need to keep doing that and then move on. Your career, your work life. I don't like my job. I need to find something else. What is it that you need to do to improve as an employee or as a worker? In your family, I should be calling my mom more. I should be calling my dad more. What, what do I need to do better to be a better person, a better sister, a better brother, a better daughter, a better, a better son? Um, and so forth and I hope you guys get the idea you never want any of these areas to affect another because you're probably neglecting this one while this one is being affected so let's say in your career life and work life area you're probably just focusing on it way too much that your love life here is getting affected and it's getting affected because you're putting way too much energy into this area and so you never want that to happen, anything like that to happen with any of your areas in your life. Another example is that if something's going wrong um, at your job or in your work and whatever, has that, whatever that has to do with that area in your life, and then you go into your relationship area, you come home, you're spending time with your partner, but then you're taking everything out what happened that day at work, you're taking it all out on that in that area in your life, you're taking it all out on your partner. And then little by little, you're becoming a different person in the area. Now you're letting your work and your career affect the way that you are in your love life. And that is a problem. That is you now using whatever it's going on here and affecting that area. So you don't want that to happen either. It doesn't mean that you can't talk about your problems to your partner because that's what a relationship should be. But the way that you are in the relationship, remember that you are a person in a relationship before you start affecting it with other problems that have nothing to do with it. So you need to know how to improve in every area in your life. But the only way to do this is by separating everything. And this relieves stress because now you know how to separate it all and you can tackle each problem by itself step by step if you don't do this you're gonna see it as all one big problem and one big um, thing and that's too much that's too much for yourself no one can handle that the only way that we can handle our problems is if we know what to do for each and the way to know that is by separating it so that you can actually see the problem for what it is and that you can actually take control of each thing in the best way possible. Now, I'm not gonna say that I'm perfect at this, but this really is the best way to tackle all your problems and to manage your stress. If you are able to view your life in this way forever and permanently, then you will, it's not that you're gonna be stress-free, but you'll know how to manage it a lot better and be the best that you can be in each. But remember, you're not always gonna be the same person for each, so you need to just know what, how, who you need to be in that area in your life and don't mix it all together because you don't want that. You're going to regret that later on. Um, it's going to affect you and the people around you, the people in your life, if you don't know how to balance everything. And I think that's the key here, to balance everything, to just become a master at that. And then you'll be able to manage your stress a lot better. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know down in the comments if you do anything special to manage your stress and to kind of relieve it. Um, and what are you currently stressing about? Let me know in the comments. And I also would love to know what videos you want to see here on my channel. It'll be way easier for me to actually make videos that will directly help you. I want to know your situations and I want to really speak to you directly. So let me know if you're not, if you're not comfortable with commenting, then just send me a DM, a message, email, whatever. But let me know 
what videos you would like to see. If you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that notification bell to be notified every time that I upload a video. Remember Wednesdays and Sundays, and I promise I'm gonna stick to that. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs>